Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we use two free plugins to create different styles of underlying text in Final Cut Pro. And I'll leave a link below for both these plugins. The first plugin is by someone called Tapsa, uh, who's a Finnish Final Cut Pro plugin maker. And the second is available from FX Factory. They're both free plugins, and so you can download them, follow along with this tutorial, and then be able to create some different styles of underline in your Final Cut Pro videos. So we're going to, first of all, clear our timeline here. I'm just going to delete these layers of the existing underlines and we're going to jump up to our titles and generators and we're going to have a look at the, the Tapsa plugin first of all. So we're going to scroll up to our titles here and then down to the Tapsa or Tap 5A plugins that I have installed and we have this auto size text background which you'll see has an underline built in. So when we first drop this onto our timeline here it has two real features one is this kind of background to our type and one is the line at the bottom so we're going to be looking and using exclusively this line just to create an underline for our text so we'll come up to our inspector at the top right if you don't see your inspector then just go to window show in workspace and check the inspector and that will bring the inspector up and essentially for this we're going to modify our text so it's just one line of text and we're going to set a different style for this. So I'm going to make this Helvetica. We'll use a bold type for this. And I'm just going to increase the tracking just a bit. So you can see we've got two parts to this plugin. One is that dark background with a little bit of transparency. So with this plugin, if we come to our title generator, you can see here we have some options for this. And for this, we're going to reduce the opacity for this plugin all the way down. So essentially now we have our type with our underline. You can see we have some nice options here for this too. So I'm going to take off the roundness for this example. You can see we can round the edges off of our underline and also the background that appears there as well. We can also then adjust where that underline that we're using appears as well. So we can have it on the top side, the bottom side, the right or the left side. So we're going to leave this obviously at the bottom for our underline and then we can change the width of it so we can have a nice thick underline or a thinner underline. We'll leave this as a nice sort of thick underline matching the width of our font there. And then we have options for the color so we can drop down our color menu and we can select a color that we like. So I'm going to go for this nice blue and then we have some options for how wide our underline is. So you can see here I can modify the, the bottom, get it a bit close to that text, get it right next to it or I can have it much further away. So we're going to leave this kind of nice and tight to the text. And then I have options for the right and left, which really allows me to kind of extend that line or underline beyond the text itself. So I'm going to match these numbers just by clicking here once and tapping 25 in each of these. That's going to give me the same distance either side. And that's essentially how to use the, the Tapsa or a size text background plugin to make an underline for a, a single line of type in Final Cut Pro. You can see the underline will move with your text as you move it around. And also then if we want to create a transition of the underline and the type kind of moving on, then we can basically do that by using some transitions. So I'm going to duplicate this layer here. And then on my top layer, I'm actually going to remove the underline. So I just held down the option key to duplicate that layer. We'll come up to our type options for this top layer that you can see is highlighted yellow and I'm going to reduce the opacity for that underline. Now if I just disable by tapping V the bottom layer there you can see I've lost the underline on this top layer. So what I'm going to use now is a transition. We'll come to our transitions across on the right here to actually get that line to draw on. So I'm going to scroll down we're going to come to our wipes and I'm going to use the basic wipe I'll drag this onto that bottom layer and you can see now that is going to wipe that line on. So basically the text is always there because it's in that top layer as well. I'm going to delete the wipe at the end. We'll just extend these out. So basically my, my line is drawing on and I can make that happen slower by extending the wipe. And I can also control the wipe as well. So you can see I've got some options for the edge treatment up here, so it's got a bit of feather on it. I can reduce that down so it's a nice hard edge. And that will then kind of give you that nice kind of sharp edge there as that line draws on.
So I'm going to add a transition to my type in the top layer as well. So in order to get this to work, I'm going to need to select this bottom layer and then come to my type options. I'm going to scroll down here to the face and basically I'm going to make the text in this bottom layer transparent. So I'm going to drop down the opacity. So basically if you have a look at that now, then I just have the line there drawing on. So I'm going to highlight this at the top again. I'm going to come up and add the white transition up at the top and then we'll offset this. So we'll have our line coming on and then our text transitioning on afterwards. So I'm going to delete that last transition and we can just get the timing of this kind of working nicely. Okay, so you can see by setting up these two layers using the same plugin and then using the transition and just kind of making the text transparent in this layer and the line transparent in this layer, we can have this nice transition on of those text layers. And obviously we could flip this so the text was drawing on first and then it was being underlined. So that's the first way that we can underline uh, some type here. If we grab our type layer here, I'm just going to hold down the option key, duplicate this across. We'll have a look at our second underline, which is using the lines plugin or lines generator available from FX Factory. So if we come to lines here and then come to the styled three point line, I'm going to drag this down to my timeline and you can see we get this little red line drawing on nicely. So I want to speed that up, so I'm going to actually shorten that down. So it's a nice kind of quick scribble on. We'll get the timing of that working a bit in a second. And then I'm just going to move my line down. We'll get it to stretch from the beginning and end. It's the midpoint of our line here. So we'll have it kind of curve up and across. So let's play that through. Okay. Now with this line, in order to add a hole to it at the end, we're going to need to wrap that into a compound clip as well. But I'm just going to get the, the line as I want it. So I'm going to thicken this line. We have a thicker line. We've got our basic pencil, our highlighter. We've got our ballpoint pen. So we've got some different lines we can use there, some different styles. And then basically we can change the, the writing width, so that line width. Got some rotation stuff there, but we don't need to change those. We've kind of got our line working nicely. We will flip the color. So I'm going to go for a nice magenta there. And then in order to hold this last frame so the line stays there afterwards, I'm going to go to File, New, and Compound Clip. Just click OK there. And then what I can do once this plays through is I'm going to come to the last frame just using my cursors to move around here and I'm going to do shift and H and that's going to add a hold frame at the end there and I can stretch that hold out. Okay so now we get the line drawing on. We can speed that up as well if we want to drag that to the left and then it holds there and we could just come to the end do command and T. We'll just add a fade transition to our text and our line. So I'm going to fade this in at the beginning as well. So you can see a couple of nice ways in which we can make underlines in Final Cut Pro using only free plugins that are available to download. I'll leave the links below. And there's a couple of nice different styles there as well. So the nice kind of hard line or this nice kind of sketched out line that we can draw as well. So if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro, then please do leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.